This is Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. Right. It says, blessed is he that readeth for men and women. And the word readeth is in the Greek, which is, which is uh, agonosko. Okay? And that means to distinguish between the two. Right. Okay? So just like we distinguish between right and wrong, that's what this talking about. The women, they distinguish between what's right and wrong because they got the spirit to understand this truth. Just through like, their husbands. Huh? Through their husbands. Right, through their husbands as well. That's like, you know, a few, um, a woman that I know, which, you know, was my cousin or whatever, she's understanding this truth, you know? She calls every day. She has questions every day. She even gave me a couple of things to watch, you know? So, so she may be one of those righteous holy women out the book because she's basically reading and distinguishing what's right and what's wrong through, through me, you know, through the man. But then she comes on and the Lord, you know, the Lord guides her wherever you want. Go ahead. And they that hear the words of this prophecy mm -hmm. and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Right, the time is at hand. So the time is at hand for us to bring out the whole truth, not just part of it. It's, it's, it's real little, you know, about this whole, about how the other nations did. Basically, when we got to come to this body, that means we got to know what we supposed to do first. And then worry about the other stuff later, basically. Go ahead. That's it? Okay. Give me, um, stay in Revelation 21 and 3. This is Revelation chapter 21, verse 3. Yeah. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. Right. The tabernacle of God is with men. That's why we are here proclaiming this truth. Okay. But it does fall down Israelite men. It does fall down from the man, the woman, and the child. Okay. And he will dwell with him. Right. And they shall be his people. Mm -hmm. And God himself shall be with them. Right. And be their God. Right, through the Spirit. That's it on that? Um, um, give me a, a reverse for it. No, that's it. That's it. Proverbs 84. Right, this is just edification on. Edification on this, um, this whole woman topic. Okay? It ain't all about bashing a woman. This is Proverbs 84. Unto you, O men, I call, mm -hmm. and my voice is to the sons of men. Right, now the woman got to accept that the Lord is dealing with us more. Okay? You can't be like these women out of day. They don't want to hear a man coming out this book and basically rebuking them, reproving them. Okay? But they got that's what, that's what they got to accept. Go ahead. O oh, ye simple, understand wisdom. Right. And ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Right. Be ye of an understanding heart. Knowing the rights and wrongs and the morals, the laws, thanks to commandments. Okay. How to treat a woman. How a woman's supposed to treat her husband. How a child's supposed to obey the mother and the father and not just the father. This is of all understanding. Go ahead. Here, for I will speak of excellent things. And the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth, and right. wickedness is an abomination to my lips. Right. The blasphemy of the scriptures, whatever comes out your mouth, that's contrary to this book. That's wickedness. What do you mean? Uh, seven. That's it. Okay. We're going to keep it going. Uh, Ezekiel 34 and 31. Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 31. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men. Right. For I am your power, saith the Lord God. Yeah. Alright, right, the Lord deal with the man. <clears throat> Once again. The woman can only be dealt with if they have a husband up over them. Ecclesiastes 37 verse 10 right this would be the last scripture you know just just a round off of scriptures about you know about the woman go ahead 
consult not with one that suspected thee. Right. Don't consult with one that is always accusing you or, um, what did you say earlier? Um, don't, don't trust, trust you. Right. right, right. Don't don't consult yourself with people who don't trust you. With a woman who don't trust you. Why? Right. Because you're going to go through nothing but hell. Right. And you women don't trust any, um, if, if he a man is not of this book, if it's not of this Bible, you, you got to leave him alone. <clears throat> Ain't no sense to still mess with a man who's not in this truth. Because he has no morals, he has no values. He has a lot of you to be deceitful and do whatever he can to hurt you. Right. Just like a woman. <laughs> Same <laughs> like a woman. Go ahead. And hide thy counsel from such as envy thee. Right. Now they consult with the woman touching her of whom she is jealous. Right. These jealous women, right? Women, you gotta get in your place and get that jealousy out your heart because uh, that's a wicked woman. The most high is gonna destroy you for that. Okay? Neither with a coward. And you can't you can't deal with no jealous woman because you're gonna hear a damn mouth all the damn time. Twenty-four-seven. Neither consult with sorry, neither with the coward in matters of war. Right. Nor with the merchant concerning exchange. Nor with the buyer of seller. Nor with an envious man of thankfulness. Nor with an unmerciful man touching kindness. Nor with a slothful for any work, nor with a hireling for a year of finishing work, nor with an idle servant of much busyness. Mm -hmm. Hearken not unto these in any matter of counsel. Right, so don't hearken to those characteristics. A man who buys and sells, what is that? A drug dealer. Okay? A man who, uh, these are all wicked men. The one who, if you do something for him, they always want a, um, something in return. Envious man of thankfulness. Right, envious man of thankfulness. That's nothing but wickedness. Doing these scriptures and being in this truth, you're supposed to be basically um, willful in all aspects. Anything that you do, you're supposed to be willingly to do it. But, but be continuously with a godly man. Right, and be with a godly man, you women, which I just spoke on earlier. A godly man is a man that's doing these laws, statutes, and commandments. Alright, and not. Um, being a goddamn jackass, pants hanging off his ass with a rainbow coalition of homosexualized colors. Right. And for you damn women to not be around them, uh, fucking faggots as well. Because that's what you fucking women like too. A lot of damn women always want to hang around these homosexuals and think it's cute and it's a fad. Okay? So y'all got to get out that fucking spirit or the Lord going to destroy your ass for that. Go ahead. Whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. Right. Whose mind is according to thy mind. Right, homosexuals supposed to be put to death. So that means your woman ain't supposed to walk around and enjoy them. And think she's, they funny. She's supposed to think the same shit she Right, think. she's supposed to have the same mindset. Meaning they ass to get put to death. Go ahead. And will sorrow with you if thou shalt miscarry. Right, if a woman miscarry, the man's supposed to sorrow with her, you know. <clears throat> is that pretty much it? Uh, that's it. That's it on that. Yeah, so that was just pretty much it. That was the last scripture, okay, on the women. So you women out there who is a part of the elect, who is doing this book, you got to go by the, um, basically you got to go by the rules of the book. Got a preset? Yeah, that's what you're saying. I like what you This is uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse, verse 3. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help those women which labor with me in the gospel. Right, see, that's perfect. Help those women. So what are we doing? We helping the women further getting this gospel, getting this, getting this truth. Okay, because it is an elect. Go ahead. With with Clement also, mm -hmm. and with other my fellow laborers. Right, they, the woman is laboring just as much as we labor. It wouldn't be in there if it uh it wouldn't be in there if they wasn't. Just like going back to the um, um, Acts. What is it? Acts 11? Acts, uh, what? 11. Acts 17 and 11. When it said that the woman were honorable woman, okay, who was in readiness of mind, meaning they had their mindset according to this book. So that spirit is not going to change. Okay? That's what reincarnation is. Okay? Which, which, um, which comes from the... Um, Hebrew word pal uh, palain, okay, palain, which means restoration.
okay? Restoration means to come back um, in the same condition. Right, like come back that. in the same condition, come back in the same state. So the woman will come back in the same condition and state and um, of doing this work. And with other my fellow laborers whose names are in the book of life. Right. Whose names in the book of life, the ones who basically following after this Bible, following after Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and not no man. Okay? You got another precept on it? I don't know. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay, with that, we're going to say, I'll praise Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. I'll praise Yahweh Shah. Rakatai Yahweh. Rakatai Yahweh. Rakatai Yahweh Shah. Rakatai Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the elders and shalom, salute to so all the brothers who are out there doing this work on the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Shalom.